earlier in that year, her cancer sort of took a turn for the worse. And when it took that turn, I kind of felt like God was saying, hey, this is we, we coming towards the end. And and so I started the process of really just thinking through through songwriting, through journaling. Like, what what am I feeling? Like, what's really on my mind and my heart? And honestly, when she passed the day before Thanksgiving 2020, I uh, really started upward trajectory of me just being completely honest with myself of who I am as an artist, as a minister. And that really got me back in the lab in terms of hip hop. And I began to just catalog, yo, this is what I felt. This is what I felt back in 2000, whatever, when I had this encounter with that person. And let me start telling my story a little bit more. So just as a process of grieving her and grieving well, I, I began to write and the song all along came along and it's one of my most personal songs that I ever release. And it really talks about the history of my mom, her coming from Jamaica, my siblings. I got two siblings out in LA. Shout out to them. Um, shout out to Words Matter Podcast, 139,000 subscribers for my brother. Shout out to him, Akil Octagon. So I'm excited that people get to hear now a side of me that they never heard. And I'm excited that this record is impacting people during the holidays in a way that I never expected it would, mm -hmm. but knew that I had to release it around the same time that my mom passed away because I know so many people are going through that person. When you look at that table, they're not sitting there no more. Mm -hmm. And how do we, how do we deal with that? Mm -hmm. Cause we got to face it. 